Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here. In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to download the full installer of macOS Ventura. The installer is a very versatile tool and I'm going to show you the many different ways that you can use it, some that you might not be aware of. I'm also going to go over the brand new upgrade process that Apple redesigned for macOS Ventura upgrades. Apple made it more reliable, faster, and up to 70% smaller in size. But if you've been downloading the full installer in system preferences the same way for the past four years, you're in for a surprise because Apple changed that and you're going to want to know about that before you begin. Apple also redesigned system preferences to be system settings now, so the interface changed. I'm going to go over all that and more next. Really quickly before we begin, I always put detailed chapters in the description of the video, and if there's ever a change that Apple makes to the download process, I put an update section above the chapter notes. So if you're trying to do something that looks different than what you've normally seen in the video, I put an update down here to inform you of what to do next. The first way I'm going to show you how to download the full installer of macOS Ventura is via the Mac App Store application and then System Preferences Software Update. And this will be the same whether you're on macOS Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, or Monterey. If you want to be able to download the full installer of Ventura in macOS Ventura, you still can, but it's a little bit different in the new System Settings app, and I'm going to show you that after our first walkthrough. So all we need to do is open up the App Store here, and then go to the search bar and search for Ventura. And it should be right here in the first section. Click on the view button. Now, before we click get, you'll notice that you do not need to be signed into the App Store to be able to download the free installer of macOS Ventura. So once we click get, it should open up System Preferences, Software Update, and immediately give us this menu to download the full installer. So all we need to do is click on download here and it'll talk to the software update server and immediately start to download the full installer. When this is done downloading, it will be in the applications folder in your Mac. Now, if you're downloading this though, and you wanna stop the download, all you need to do is click on this section here and then click on the X button and it'll immediately stop the download for whatever reason you need to stop. If you wanna restart it again, don't click this button here, go back to the Mac App Store and then click the get button and it'll reopen up the update again. Now, if it stalls here, you can always click on system preferences, click quit, and then click the link again. And it should pick up right off where it left off from when you first started. And then it'll finish the download. That's for macOS Mojave to macOS Monterey. Wonder if you want to be able to download it on macOS Ventura. Well, we can do that. All we need to do is go to the App Store again and then click on Ventura. and then click view and get again. And it'll open up the system settings and the same box comes up like we saw on macOS Monterey. Click on the download button and you'll see the new downloading section and it does the same thing as it does in macOS Monterey. And if you wanted to be able to stop it, that X is still here to be able to stop the download for whatever reason you need to. As soon as it's done downloading, you should see the macOS Ventura full installer pop up right here in the main window. Now you do not have to do anything with this right away. You can just click on install macOS Ventura and quit out of it and then you can go to your applications folder and there's the full installer and you can see the full size of 12.19 gigabytes. Okay, before we get into the second way to download Ventura, I wanted to make sure that you are very clear of one thing here. Apple really wants you to be able to update to Ventura and they make it showing here, upgrade now to Ventura to get the latest security updates. Now, while that's true, if you are not ready for macOS Ventura, you can still see your security updates or your software updates under the more info. And notice how you gotta hover over it here to click more info. Then you'll be able to see additional software updates and Safari updates for you to be able to install if you wanna be able to stay on the current operating system and not make the jump to macOS Ventura just yet. One additional thing is if you wanted to be able to get different versions of macOS from the App Store, I have direct links to every single version of macOS that is available in the Mac App Store right here, and it'll bring you directly to the link to be able to download it if for whatever reason it's not showing up in search or whatever, it'll bring you right to that download section right here, and I'll include a link in the description to all those links. Now one more note about the Mac App Store way to download macOS Ventura full installers is 
is that you can only get the latest version of Mac OS Ventura. You cannot get previous versions. Now, why would you need a previous version? Well, let's say you're having a problem with the latest version of Mac OS Ventura 13.5. You're working with Apple support and that you're showing them the problem and you're not getting anywhere, but you want to show that in 13.4, the issue wasn't there. So you want to be able to download that version and install it and show, hey, look, I'm showing you that it doesn't happen in this version. How are you going to do that? Well, that's where the second and third version come in next. The second way I'm going to show you how to download the full installer of Mac OS Ventura today is via the software update binary in the terminal application. To get to the terminal application, all you need to do is click on Finder or go into Macintosh hard drive and then click on Applications and then scroll down to the Utilities folder and inside you should see the terminal app. All you need to do is double click on it, but I've already got it opened up and ready to go here so you can see the whole screen. Now notice that the colors might be different, but I set it up so you'll be able to see a little bit better. To get started, all you need to do is type in software update and then hit enter. And then it'll show you all the options of the software update binary. You can actually use this binary to check for updates, install updates, or the one we're after today, list full installers and fetch full installers. So all we need to do first is check what installers are available. So we'll click on the up button to get our previous command and then do a space. And then we'll do dash dash list dash full dash installers. And then hit enter. It's going to contact the software update server, identify the Mac that you're using to check because it's only going to show you versions of Mac OS that are compatible with your Mac and then display the full list. So we have Big Sur, Monterey and Ventura full installers available to us and we can actually download any version that we see in this list. Remember, Apple will pull previous versions of the installer later. So if you want to get all of them, make sure you download it because again, it might not be there when you check in the future. So we are after Mac OS Ventura today and the latest version will usually always be at the top, like 13.1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5 in the, but today it's 13.0.1. If we want to be able to download the latest version available for this Mac, all we need to do is use the fetch full installers command. So we'll go down again and we'll click the up arrow to get our previous command. And again, to get the software update to command, dash dash fetch, dash full, dash installer. Now what that's gonna do is again, download the latest version of Mac OS Ventura, which is 13.0.1. So all we need to do is hit enter and it's immediately gonna start. Wonder if you wanted to do a previous version, like just like 13.0 or 12.5.1. All you need to do is add in the full installer version here option after fetch full installer. So you can copy that command actually right here. And we'll do another space and we'll do a command V to paste and then do another space 12.5.1. And that's how you do it. Hit enter and then immediately start downloading that full installer. But again, today we're only after the latest version of Ventura. So we'll clear that out and we'll hit enter. And it's immediately going to scan for that installer and immediately start to download the installer. You got to give it a second to begin here. And then there it goes. It's showing installing, but what it's really doing is downloading. And we can actually see that by opening up the activity monitor application and applications in the utilities folder. And we can click on the network tab up here, then go down here to the data received per second. And we can see that we're pulling Mac OS Ventura 14 megabytes a second download speed from Apple software update servers. And it will give us a status update. When this is all done, this is what we will see here in the terminal. And I already got that set up. We will see install finish successfully. And all that means is, is that the download finished and it took that full installer and it put it into our applications folder. So to see it, all we need to do is click on Macintosh hard drive again, or click on finder, click on applications, and then install Mac OS Ventura full installer at 12.19 gigabytes is right there, ready to go for you. And that's the second way to be able to download the full installer of Mac OS Ventura. 
The third and easiest way to be able to download full installers of macOS Ventura is via my site that has a download database of direct links to Apple software update server. Now, if we scroll down here, we'll see that the included in the links is what's called the install assistant.package or PKG. Inside that package is the full installer app for macOS Ventura. So you'll see here, I'll have a list of full public or final installers. And in the future, you'll see 13.1 one, two, three, four, five, six, and you'll be able to download any version that's still available on Apple's software update server. The link on here that goes directly to Apple's site. So if we copy this link and then we paste it up here in the bar, you can see if we scroll all the way to the beginning, it's directly to Apple software update server, SWCDN, apple.com. All you need to do is click on the version that you want and it'll immediately start to download to your downloads folder. Now keep in mind, I keep versions of macOS Monterey and even macOS Big Sur for you to be able to download if you wanted to get those. Now, once the download's finished, it'll jump up and down here in the downloads folder and we'll be able to jump to the next part to be able to install it to directly to your applications folder. Okay, all we need to do now is click on our downloads folder and we'll see our install assistant package in there. We'll click on it once and we'll be greeted with the installer. Like I said, inside this install package is the actual install macOS.app. So we'll click on continue and install and we'll type in our administrator password. And that's it. We'll hit close and now we can go into the applications folder to see our new macOS Monterey dot app. Okay, all we need to do now is minimize our Safari window and we'll go into our applications folder on our Mac and we should see our install macOS Ventura full installer application. Now in this next section, I wanted to talk about the macOS Monterey specific brand new macOS Ventura upgrade process and why you don't want to be able to try to download the full installer without using the app store like you used to be able to do for the past four years. In the past four years, you used to be able to just go in here and you'll see the new version of macOS, click upgrade now, and the full installer will download to your applications folder and then start up for you. But that's all changed this year. And I want to show you what that looks like. This Mac has the 11 gig gigabyte upgrade available to you. Notice how it's not 12 gigabytes because it'll actually install directly on the Mac and won't give you the full installer. Now I've had two other screenshots of what you could see in software update on Mac West Monterey. This is the full 12 gigabyte full installer. If you have 12.2.1 and below Monterey. And then finally, if you have Mac West Monterey 12.5 or newer, you can see a small upgrade as small as 3.9.2 gigabytes. Imagine if you didn't know about this and you just click the upgrade now to get the full installer and before you know it your main Mac is upgraded to Mac OS Ventura when all you wanted to do was download the full installer. Now I made a nice little chart here that you can pause the video on if you wanted to get a little bit more information about this because I could go on and on about trying to explain all this and it's pretty confusing but it gives you a full chart showing that if you're on Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, software update will give you the full installer. If you're on Mac OS Monitor 12.2.1 or lower you'll get the full installer in and software update system preferences. 12.3 or newer is where it all goes to the new upgrade process. You'll get the 11 gigabyte upgrade from 12.3 to 12.4 and 12.5 or newer, you'll get that smaller update like we showed here which is only 3.92 gigabytes. So again, this new upgrade process is really great and if you're on Mac OS Ventura or newer, you will get the same new upgrade process when a new version of Mac OS comes out like Redwood or whatever they call it in the future. And to get the full installer, notice how I'll put a little asterisk here, all the versions from here and above, you can get the full installer by using the App Store link. So now let's talk about what you can do with the full installer app. Once you have it downloaded, what are you going to do with it? Well, one of the most popular things to do with the full installer is to be able to create a USB installer. The USB installer can be used for many different things. It usually revolves around either troubleshooting macOS on your Mac or doing a install or upgrade of macOS on your Mac. When you have that USB created, you can use that to be able to boot your Mac 
to the full installer off the USB. So for example, if you have an Intel Mac and you're not able to boot to internet recovery, you can use that USB installer to be able to install Mac OS. If you have an M1 Mac, you can also use it to be able to boot to Mac OS recovery and install Mac OS. And I have multiple videos on my channel that show how to do that. And it's a really easy way. Plus, you'll notice that if you ever tried to install Mac OS in the Mac OS recovery, the download takes a really long time. You can download in your browser the full install assistant package a lot faster and create that USB installer than the Mac OS recovery is able to download from their service from that recovery environment. Sometimes it can take up to one hour to two and a half hours to be able to download in that recovery environment. So using the USB installer can install Mac OS up to three or four times faster than you would if you just installed it via the recovery partition. You have that USB installer that's not all the things that you can do. You can also use that full installer to be able to install macOS Ventura on a second volume just to be able to test it out or you can install it to an external disk like a Thunderbolt drive to be able to test it out. Let's say you're not ready to upgrade to macOS Ventura yet and you just wanted to test it on that Thunderbolt drive. You can do that. Create a partition on there, use the full installer and install it right to that drive and you can boot from it and you can give macOS Ventura a test run without even touching your main Mac. Now, one of the most interesting things that you can do with the full installer is use it as what we used to call the combo update and what the combo update used to be is a package that you could use and download directly from Apple to be able to install the latest software update. Now, if you're on, let's say 13.0 Ventura, and for some reason, system settings is giving you a bunch of errors to update to 13.01. And no matter what you can do, nothing works. You can actually download the full installer and use that to update to the latest version of Mac OS. And you can just walk through the installer steps and now all it does is basically go through your entire system and update all the pieces in there to the latest version and all of your data is still there. So it's an in-place upgrade through the update to the latest version and that's a really nice way to do it if all of your troubleshooting actions fail to try to get you to the latest version of Mac OS Ventura. And those are just a couple things that you can do with the full installer to be able to help you troubleshoot or install Mac OS Ventura on your Mac. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can click on that like button or the share, I'd really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, you can click on that Mr. Macintosh logo there to subscribe to the channel. And you can follow me on Twitter or Mastodon for the latest Mac news. And I always appreciate my Patreon members. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.